Hello, I'm Jerry Rechtenwald. I'm the uh, instructor for ME120 this term. I'm happy to meet you, virtually at least. Uh, we'll be getting in touch personal, more personally in a couple weeks. It's now early September. I've been working with a colleague, Dr. Makishu, to get ready for the term. And I'm about to head out on a um, uh, backcountry trip, and I'll be away from the internet for a couple weeks. So I'm leaving this message now from my backyard before I leave. And I wanted to say hi and to welcome you to the class. I've been teaching uh, ME120 for 10 years or so. Uh, the other class is also in the sequence 121, 122. Uh, and I'd encourage you to think of that course sequence as a unit. So we're going to start this journey uh, with 120, and we'll be building our skills about engineering, uh, controls, design throughout that sequence. I grew up in a small town in western New York State, uh, you know, four stop signs in a post office kind of place. Uh, my mom and dad weren't farmers, uh, but my grandfather was a farmer, and he lived right across the street. And my uncle, one of my uncles, uh, had a big, bigger farm up the street. So I spent a lot of time doing physical labor, chucking hay bales, um, and watching self-reliant people uh, fix things and make things. My uncle was a bit of an inventor. So uh, I think I incorporated that knowledge sort of like in the back of my head, and uh, it's helped me a lot as a mechanical engineer. I've done, in my research, I've done some very theoretical work, uh, fluid mechanics, heat transfer. I've written and used computer programs to simulate uh, airflow, water flow, heat transfer. Um, I've helped design a, uh, a device to help treat people who have hypothermia in a battlefield environment. I've uh, worked with local electronics companies on electronics cooling. I've um, I helped design a big wind tunnel that Freightliner uses. It's down on Swan Island to test their full-scale trucks for aerodynamics. So I've I've done a lot of practical things, and that sort of farm kid experience uh, has been part of that doesn't mean you have to be a farm kid to do this, but um, I see the value in knowing how to use tools and how to translate your engineering ideas into practical things. And that's what I hope this course will do, not only introduce you to the practice of mechanical engineering, but also give you some good hands-on skills uh, that will help you connect the head knowledge, the math, the physics, the engineering analysis to actually making things that uh, use those um, that, that, that depend on that understanding. <clears throat> also in the past decade, I've done research on engineering education, uh, how people learn, how to improve it through uh, these sort of hands-on experiences. So that's um, very important to me, and it's been a huge motivation for my involvement in ME120, 121, 122, and uh, I continue to try to make it better. Uh, we've had to shift things. Now we're doing remote classes, so that means some of the stuff we've done in the past with hands-on experiences in our lab, we're going to translate those to um, your lab at your desk w at your house where you're living. So we're going to ask you to um, uh, build some little things uh, and uh, work on those. So you're going to need some hand tools. Uh, simple hand tools, uh, small pliers and needle nose pliers kind of things, um, screwdrivers. We'll, we'll, we'll let you know what the, about a kit of parts that we're going to ask you to assemble. We're also going to ask you to buy uh, a small set of parts that will help you um, do the things. One of those parts is uh, going to be a microcontroller. This is a little computer, actually, and it's got a bunch of sensors on it. It's an <laughs> amazingly uh, powerful system right here and this is the kind of technology that's embedded in all sorts of smart mechanical systems um, robots autonomous vehicles but your your car your your air conditioning system the um, factory machines that that make things uh, uh, this this convergence of computer technology and mechanical systems uh, that's what we're going to use uh, not only to prepare you for practice of uh, modern mechanical engineering, but also to give you um, uh, a little hands-on laboratory. So we're going to get you, um, we're going to ask you to buy a kit of parts that includes this and some hand tools. The total uh, bill there would be like 150 bucks. So I'm giving you this heads up that you can um, hopefully budget for that. 
uh, you'll be using um, that instead of a textbook. So we are not, there's no textbook. All the course materials are online and free. Uh, but the uh, physical objects that you'll be manipulating, uh, those tools that you'll assemble and use for the rest of your career, actually, uh, will we'll start now. <clears throat> you also are going to need to have a laptop. Um, and if you have a desktop, uh, that'll be okay, but as soon as we return to classes, uh, you'll need to be able to bring a laptop with you to work in a laboratory environment. Uh, a Windows 10 computer uh, is fine. A late model Macintosh is also fine. Um, I'm hoping you don't have to go out and buy one of those, but know that uh, that's a, a very useful tool and one that we're going to need. The, we'll need a computer that can do um, video conferencing, you know, Zoom calls, uh, so you can participate in the class, and that doesn't need to be a laptop. So um, again, if you have a desktop, that'll be fine this term, but uh, when we return to normal classes on campus, a laptop will be necessary. Um, what is this class about? This class is uh, ME120. Is uh, you'll be we'll be doing a lot of work with this uh, little microcontroller um, that will help us think about taking data, collecting sensor data, and manipulating that data. Uh, later in ME121, we're going to be using that as the core of a control system. So now we're starting to think about embedded in um, um, controls into a smart mechanical system. So we'll have to learn about mechanical systems, how they behave, but also how we can use sensors and actuators to control them. In ME122, uh, we're going to work on the design process. So um, taking a step back from the implementation, right? Like, how do you do something when someone tells you what to do? Uh, design is a process uh, that starts with figuring out what to do. Here's a problem. Well, what's a good solution? How do you go about that? So uh, that's the culminating experience in ME122, and you'll be uh, coming up with your own project uh, for that class. So what can you do to get ready? Um, well, if you have, you might want to brush up on your algebra. Think about uh, solving equations for x, um, sines and cosines, trigonometry, geometry. Um, just be ready to use those as tools, because math is a tool that we use. Uh, we'll be going over a lot of that uh, in our class, but just to be sort of warmed up for that would be a good idea. Um, any experience you have working with word processors, uh, spreadsheets for uh, analyzing data, plotting data would be good if you want to review that. Um, but in terms of concrete things to do, I think uh, you, you can prepare for the class by thinking about creating a good space to work in. Um, I'm not happy about having to do things uh, strictly in a remote in an environment, but uh, that's the way it is right now. So think about um, having a little workspace, a desk uh, where you have some good light, uh, not only so you can see what you're doing, but like now uh, I have some indirect light on my face. There's really bright sunlight over here behind me because uh, it's the morning in my backyard. Um, but think about a quiet space where you can work and uh, communicate with the rest of us. Uh, think about a space, a little space, you know, only, it doesn't need to be big, a meter wide is plenty, where you can have your notebook and uh, to do, you know, calculations, but also a separate little corner where you can set up your microcontroller and the circuits and motors and other stuff that you'll be working with in this class. It doesn't have to be big, but um, that's something you can prepare for now. Well, um, I have to get ready for my uh, big trip. I am looking forward to seeing you uh, in a couple weeks. Uh, I've been working really hard to prepare for this class, and I, um, I'm sure we're going to learn a lot together, which is uh, a great um, approach that really matters to me. We'll do teamwork. We'll, we'll figure out things. We'll face challenges. We'll figure out how uh, to think like engineers. Um, so in the meantime, uh, stay safe, take care, uh, have fun, uh, wear a mask. Be kind to yourself and others. Look forward to seeing you in a couple weeks.